Carlos Alcaraz versus Tommy Paul is the second quarterfinal for the men's Wimbledon for 2024. And both guys have had to fight to get to this stage. Paul entered the tournament as the number 12 seed and would take on Martinez in the first round. And after dropping the third set, would fight back to win. 6-2, 6-1, 4-6, 6-3. In the second round, he'd take on the qualifier, Vertanen. And this was a battle. After going down two sets to one, Paul would fight back to win. 4-6, 6-3, 5-7, 7-5, 6-4. In the third round, he'd take on Bublik, the 23rd seed. And this was surprisingly easy with Paul getting to win straights. 6-3, 6-4, 6-2. In the fourth round, he'd take on the unseeded Batista Agu, who had beaten Sonigo and Fanini along the way. And after a close second set, Paul would run away with the third, 6-2, 7-6, 6-2, to advance to the quarterfinals. Alcaraz entered the tournament as the number three seed, and would take on the qualifier Lyell in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straights. 7-6, 7-5, 6-2. In the second round, he'd take on Vukic, and again, after a close first set, would get through in straights. 7-6, 6-2, 6-2. In the third round, he'd take on Tiafo, the number 29 seed, and a man that he'd played a five-set epic against two years ago at the US Open. And this was a battle. After dropping two of the first three sets, Sets, Alcaraz would fight back to win. 5-7, 6-2, 4-6, 7-6, 6-2. In the fourth round, he'd take on the 16th seed on Bear, a very capable grass court guy over the years. And after dropping the third set, Alcaraz would fight to avoid a fifth. 6-3, 6-4, 1, 6, 7, 5 to advance to the quarterfinals. These two guys have played four times before with the head dead split down the middle 2-2, including three matches last year where Paul actually got a win in Canada and then Alcaraz got the revenge win a couple weeks later in Cincinnati. So when these guys play, upsets do happen and Paul really raised his chances against Alcaraz but this will be the first time we're seeing them play outside of America and also the first time on grass. Paul's going to win this one. He's going to need to be aggressive and push Alcaraz around. This is going to be interesting to see how Paul actually does on the grass against Alcaraz because on the hard courts, it's almost a 50-50 as we've seen over the last couple of years. So he's going to have to really be aggressive and use bully Alcaraz on the baseline. Alcaraz is going to win this one. He's going to need to stay concentrated. We saw in the Umber match that in the third set, he just kind of gave it away. And then the momentum was against him. He was lucky to get out of the fourth and not have to play five. So he's got to keep it together if he gets up two sets of love and not let Paul back in the match because that's when things will go bad. I love this matchup. I reckon this is going to be one of the matches of the tournament, but I've got to go with Alcaraz in this one. I reckon he wins this one in five sets. But Paul's going to push him to the brink as he does. Every time they play, let me know down in the comments below though, who's making the semis.